it's Mika. Welcome back to my channel. So, the struggle to film this video is real. This is my third time filming this. So, three's my favorite number. Hopefully, three times is a charm. But anyways, you guys, today I have a top 10 spring essentials spring that could carry into summer so spring and summer essentials video in regards to all of my favorite makeup products I did this video last year and things have kind of changed just a little bit so I decided to do another one for you guys and this is an exciting video because it is a collaboration with my good friend here on YouTube and Instagram her name is Faye aka fashionably Faye here on YouTube um, we did this video last year so we decided boom let's get together again this year and collaborate and do it again so after you are finished watching this video head over to her channel and watch her top 10 spring and summer essentials as well she is super sweet gorgeous I love her I know you guys will too I will leave her links down below but yeah after you watch me head on over to her channel but Anyways, if you would like to see my spring slash summer essentials, my top 10, then just keep on watching. You guys have no idea. Okay, so can we start off this video with the one non-makeup related item that I have, and that is a freaking nice pair of shades. So, you need a good pair of sunglasses all year round, but especially in the spring and summer. And these are my fairly new babies. My husband bought these for me. They are Gucci. Um, I will leave the style number in the info box if you are interested. But I love this teal. It's a nice pop of color. Perfect for spring, summer. I love these so much. I'm normally like that $10 sunglasses kind of chick um, because back in the day I had bought some Chanel's and I lost them at Old Navy and like those are 300, 300 something dollar sunglasses. I was devastated and ever since then I never ever ever bought high end sunglasses ever again but my husband against what I told him, I told him I didn't want these, but he bought them for me. He said he's ch sick of seeing me in those $10 sunglasses, so these are essential for the spring and summer. Anyways, let's move on to makeup related items, yes? So the first one is a primer. Um, if you guys have been following me, you know I am an oily beast. So I just recently picked up the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, Skin Equalizer Mattifying Primer. I just recently picked this up in the Sephora VIB sale a couple of weeks back, but I love this stuff so far, you guys. Like, like this baby is mattifying. So if you guys have combination skin like me like I'm super oily in my t-zone and then I'm dry like my jaw chin area where like my acne issues are I might have dry patches patches there so do not put this anywhere you are dry because you will be dry like super tight dry it'll cling so I apply this to my forehead down the bridge of my nose around my nose area a little bit on my cheeks and this area here on the chin where I get like the most oily that's it do not apply it anywhere that you are dry because this baby will suck every little bit of moisture that you have in that area and it'll be 20 times worse so this is amazing if you are oily, if you are dry, steer clear. I'm interested in a couple more of these. They have like a peach one. I thought maybe it would help with my acne scarring. So yeah, so you need a bomb primer for spring and summer and this is my girl. So, so moving on, it is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Demi Matte Finish Air Light Oil Free Foundation. I have this on my face today. I filmed a drugstore foundation routine and maybe a before or after this video, I'm not sure. I'll link it down below. But this is my holy grail drugstore foundation. Like this stuff is bomb. It replaced, it took the replace of my um, Revlon Colorstay that I no longer use. 
I love this stuff. So it is, it's very lightweight on the skin, you know, sp spring and summer, like it's hot, it's sweaty. The last thing that I want is, the last thing that I want is to feel like super weighed down with foundation. I hate that feeling. It's not a good look. I'm not about that life. So this foundation is seriously so lightweight. It keeps me matte for like eight, nine, ten hours. I did a few a full review on this. I'll leave it linked down below. I don't think that this is good for dry skin, not whatsoever. Um, again, it would adhere and accentuate your dry patches, but if you are normal to combination oily, I think you'll love this. It keeps you matte while, while not looking like flat and dull. Um, and as the day goes by, I start looking a little luminous, not oily, but just luminous, like a very nice summer glow that I love, that everybody loves, so yes, I essential, okay, necessary. Let's move on to a highlighter. I recently also picked this up. It is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two. You guys. So this is a dupe for Max Whisper of Guilt, for Estee Lauder Heat Wave. This freaking, uh, so freaking gorgeous like it is so pretty um if you can see that it is just it gives you such a beautiful glow the the lighting just does not the camera does not do this justice it is absolutely stunning the thing about this is it's very very like densely packed into this compact so it's kind of hard to pick up the color on a brush so you kind of need like more of a stiffer rougher brush to pick this up and to apply it and then you can use like a soft brush to blend it in but i think this will be very universal i think it'll look good on the majority of skin tones it's gorgeous you guys pick this up um next is this urban decay electric palette um this came out last year i know it is super 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 bright and i don't just rock bright shadows like on my lid and stuff i'm not i can't but i love this for pops of color underneath your eye i'm not sure if you guys can tell because i'm pretty far away from the camera but i do have uh jilted and savage and urban um i kind of uh smoked it out on my lower lash line i like to add color on my lower lash line for that nice like pop i'm not that person that's gonna wear like bright pink or yellow on my lid and do a look with that but i love adding it to my lower lash line i think it is beautiful and these shadows are very pigmented very creamy they blend very nicely and I think they are perfect for spring and summer for that nice bright pop of color to your eyes whether you want to do a full-on eye look or you just want to add it to your waterline I love this palette so let's move on to I guess my brows um, my Anastasia dip brow pomade and chocolate it's what I use on my eyebrows every single day I have it on my brows today and this stuff is super waterproof I could not live without it a little bit goes a long way I've had this thing forever and I've hardly even made a dent in it but I like this because it is waterproof I could get wet sweat swim whatevs and this guy is staying in place it keeps my brows looking like brows and so I love that product I will forever repurchase it I mean it's a spring summer fall winter all day all year round essential for me but I think it's great for spring and summer because again I, it's super waterproof so but that is like when you want like a really defined brow I don't use that every single day but when I'm going out and I'm like full-on done that's when I use that stuff um, I mentioned this 17,000 times it's the NYC liquid liner it dries matte it's not waterproof but it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't transfer it doesn't smudge it doesn't rub I have oily lids and it stays in place I have it on today I love this stuff two bucks at the drugstore I mean you can't beat freaking two dollars I think it's perfection of a liner so I've been reaching for this more than I have like my Inglot gel liner like okay let's move on to like my one of my favorite lip combos 
that I rock for spring and summer. Um, it's what I have on today. It is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Ibiza. You guys. I don't know why I love this so much, but I love it. It's like a very nice, like, orange, pink, like a nice bright pop of color. I think it complements my skin tone well. Um, I don't know. I just really like it. But I don't like the necessarily like the matte look that this gives off. So I do have a gloss on top. But I really, really, really do love this stuff. And this is going to run you um, like 4 or $5 at Ulta or CVS or Target, wherever you can pick up your NYX products. And then on top of it is the Buxom, what is this, full bodied lip gloss in the shade Cha Cha Cha. So these two I count as one product because I love, love, love love these two together i picked this up at like the sephora holiday sale like two years ago or whatever um it just you know adds a little bit of shine i don't put too much on but i love see there's a, a soft matte lip cream and then the gloss right underneath i love these two together again it's what i have on my lips today i am obsessed with it i was wearing this combo in my last video it's just like my go-to like nice pop of color for me I'm not like a super like adventurous person with color on my lips but I do love this combination so let me know if you guys want to see like a a video of all like my bright spring summer lip combinations I can definitely do that for you guys I'll try to use all of like my permanent lipsticks and stuff so yeah let me know down below if you want to see that but anyways moving on um the next lip product is by mac it is a matte lipstick in the shade party parrot i i really honestly don't know if this is limited edition or limited edition or not but it's similar to abiza just more pinky it is this really bright pink orange shade I love this so stinking much you guys I love it I love it I love it I really hope this isn't limited edition but it might have been but um, it's a matte formula but it's not super super drying at all so yeah you guys um those are like my essential lip <laughs> And then lastly is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So again, it's those hot, sweaty spring and summer nights, especially here in California. Like the summer is like 100 plus degrees and you are going to be melting. And I need something that's going to make sure that my makeup stays in place. And this guy is it. I have two huge bottles of this. It just really locks and loads everything. And I love just... Uh, it smells good. I love like misting it on my face. It's just, sorry Zoe, my dog felt that. It's just perfection. I love it so much. I think everybody needs that. They have different formulas. They have a D slick one. They have like a a dewy one if you guys like needed that dewy look I'm not yeah you guys that is my top 10 spring summer essentials I hope you guys enjoy this video found it helpful let me know down below your spring and summer essentials so that I can see if there's any products that I'm missing out on um, also make sure you guys head over to Faye's channel and check out her video again I'll leave that link down below <laughs> and yeah of course as usual leave your video request down below if you guys found this video helpful if you liked any of the products if you have any questions or want to see any reviews let me know give this video a thumbs up because it makes me happy and i greatly appreciate it make sure you subscribe before you go so that you know when i upload new videos and yeah until next time i'll see you in my next one bye guys she told me she was just a homer She came down like she knew me She gave it up like a blueprint